Hello kids, it's Mr. Agee here, and I'm here to talk about your writing lesson for today. So we are still in our writerly life unit in which we basically try to establish habits that writers have. So we said in the beginning, writers write. They try to write every single day. Um, some days, of course, you don't, but, uh, but writers write. And in our writing uh, lessons under during our writing time, the expectation is that you get some writing done. Um, we've also talked about the lesson that writers are creative. They like to be creative with the stories they tell and the words they use. Writers use descriptive language. They try to describe things the best ways that they can. Writers create characters and they can even create stories all around characters. Um, for example, those of you who are um, SpongeBob fans, um, SpongeBob SquarePants is a character driven um, co comedic cartoon in which uh, the, the stories are all based around uh, the, the particular character traits of, the, of Spongebob and the other characters in the story. Um, so you could take a character approach to your writing. We've talked about how writers use sequence words to help the reader um, understand what's happening when in the story. So it gives it gives the reader an idea for um, what what the order of events is, and that helps clarify meaning to the reader. So we're going to continue on with that. I'm hoping that you're either in the middle of a story that you'd like to develop, or you've got some ideas for some new stories that you'd like to start out. Um, in any case, what you're going to do is you're going to head into the writing folder and um, as a refresher, we've got this writing sequence words list. And if you don't have these all copied down and put into your notebook, this is a good chance to push pause on the video. Um, you might want to zoom in on the screen. So like if you take your fingers and spread them outward on your mouse, it should zoom in on the screen so you can see the words a little bit better if you're having trouble and um, get these words copied. And the basic sequence of a story would be the beginning, where we learn about who the characters are and where the story is taking place, the middle, where most of the action happens in the story, and the end, where a pro the problem kind of gets solved or some kind of change happens in the story, um, main, uh, usually to the main character. There's some kind of change in the main character or the, that the main character goes through. But these sequence words help the reader understand like when all that stuff is happening. And so I encourage you to um, get these words written and actually use them in your writing. So I'd like for you to spend your time getting these this word list um, written and in your author's folder and also adding to a story you're already writing or starting a new story. When you use these sequence words, Highlight them in some way, like either um, maybe go over them with a yellow a yellow crayon or uh, underline them or something. And when we do our author circle tomorrow, when we're sharing the stories that we're doing, I'm very interested to hear how you're using these sequence words. So our, our share out tomorrow is going to be for you not only to share your creative awesome stories, but it's also... Uh, a chance for you to show that you're using the things that we're learning about as we're doing these writing lessons. Um, now, a note for those of you who struggle to come up with ideas. Be patient with yourself. Try to be positive. When you're really stressed out, that's that's one of the worst times that, that writing... Um, uh, that writing tasks happen. It's like, uh, like I'm speaking from experience for my son here. My son doesn't always love writing, but he is really, really creative. And so the, like the work of writing kind of stresses him out. So we try to relax and find a good place and talk through some ideas with a very positive attitude. And um, once you talk through those ideas with a positive attitude, it's easier to get those ideas on paper. Now, my son gets really hung up on things like spelling. And spelling is a very important part of writing, but when we're talking about creative writing and writing stories, the most important thing 
for that kind of writing is just getting the ideas on the paper. So you just try your best to spell the words and you don't really worry about how to spell them because we have this awesome process called the writing process where once you've got a bunch of work written, we can go back into it and look at it and read it over and see if it makes sense and to look at the spelling and make corrections later on. That's that's a basic process that writers use. So if if spelling is something that's holding you up, if spelling is something that's making you worry about which words you put on the page, I'm going to encourage you to release yourself from that and to relax about spelling during this writing process and and this and really focus on ideas, getting your ideas about your story out onto the paper so that and so that we have something to work with. You know, the spelling we can fix later, but the ideas need to get there first so that, that we have some stories to, to build upon and work on and we can see what kinds of things you need um, as a student of writing. All right, uh, I wish the best for you. I'm so excited to see the kinds of things you're writing. And um, if you're stressing, take a break, relax. Uh, but we do want you to um, be developing stories uh, in your writing time. So good luck and enjoy.